Sackville too. That's five we've lost already. Red marker, sir. A point to the right and a mile ahead. Another mile of this flag will finish us all. All flight leaders from Dandelion. All flight leaders from Dandelion. Pathfinder 2 has got through. Pathfinder 2 has got through. Bomb on his red marker flares. All flight leaders, bomb on his red marker flares. Yo, come in. 420, sir, briefing in 40 minutes. You're a bit early, aren't you, Sandy? Uh, General Britt's on his way over. I thought you'd want to know. General Britt? Here on the base? Yes, sir. He said it was unofficial. Well, Sandy, what's the word on that RAF raid? Sir. Good morning, General. Joe. Sergeant. Now, that'll be all, Sergeant. Yes, sir. What brings you here so early, General? You couldn't sleep? I see you're fully clothed. Yes, just, just like a fireman. Oh, would you, uh, would you like some coffee, sir? Thanks. I sat through the night with General Pritchard and Air Vice Marshal Kingsford, RAF. RAF got clobbered again. It's too bad. The wee spot in flak. We get it by day, and they get it by night. Yeah. I'd like to go with you today. No, sir. I mean, well, there's just no point in taking that kind of a chance. Maybe there's a point. Now, look, General, I think the Germans are using something new over there. I don't know what it is. Possibly it's radar. But I know this, they're cutting us to ribbons, and your going along certainly won't change that. Wait a minute. Do you think I'm dogging this job? Joe, I don't like what I'm doing here. Maybe that's why I've avoided facing the issue. Doesn't matter what I think. Kingsford is screaming because of the beating the RAF has taken trying to soften your target for you. Well, if they've knocked out that flak last night, I'll be able to score this morning. Now, if they haven't... His point is, if you'd done your job yesterday or the day before, it wouldn't cost him so much. His point? Now, what is your point, General? Bomb Wiesbaden, knock out those factories today. Yes, sir. If you don't, I'm going to be ordered to relieve you of your command. Clock High, a QM production, starring Paul Burke, also starring Chris Robinson, with guest stars Christiana Schmidtmer, Lloyd Bachner, Andrew Duggan, Bernard Fox. Tonight's episode, Fortress Wiesbaden. Bombardier to 
pilot. Bombs away in five seconds. the number of units that are dropping bombs. And somebody watch out for the strike. We missed it, Colonel. We missed it by a country mile. Application for reassignment. What do you think you're doing? General, I got only 10 out of 21 bombers over that target this morning. Only 10 out of 21, and we missed. Besides, sir, you told me what to expect if I failed. So you file an application for reassignment. Why, to get your licks in first? Now, General, you know as well as I do, when a commander is relieved, when he's fired, his whole unit takes a beating. Now, my group has had enough beatings over Wiesbaden. And I don't want them to take the blame for any British losses or anything else. So you're sure you're here to be fired? Well, I, I was told to report to you as soon as I landed. I can't imagine... Sit down, Joe. Uh, ask Major Mallory to come in here. Suppose the situation changed. Would you tear this thing up? General, I don't want to leave my group, but it seems to me this would be a lot less embarrassing for everyone. Joe, when things go sour, and we can't figure out why, usually it means trouble. I'm sorry this had to focus on you. I really mean that. It focused on both of us, sir. Well, then, I, I thank you for trying to get your group and me off the hook. Sometimes you behave like a gadfly, but I think we can tear this thing up, because now we know what the trouble is. Major Mallory, sir? Oh, Major Mallory. This is uh, Colonel Gallagher. Sir? Major? You mentioned this morning that we might be up against something new. Well, we are. An advanced type of radar electronic anti-aircraft fire control. British intelligence has a man in Wiesbaden. German, as a matter of fact. His report came in while you were on your way back. We're going to find out exactly where that control center is. We're going to put it out of commission. And while it's out with no flak, or little flak at best, we're going to hit those Wiesbaden factories with everything we've got. A well-timed saturation rate, sir. General, how, how do we knock out the center, sir? Oh, I'll do that, sir. Oh, um, Major Mallory is a commando. He's going to parachute in with the demolition team. Pilot to crew, there's searchlights up ahead. We're probably going to pick up some flak about now, so hang on. Pilot to bombardier, open up the bomb bay for the jump. Okay, I'll take it out. Engineer, get him out. Yes, sir. Go! Go! Help!
lads, let's bury the suits and get cracking. Come on, up with it. Habt ihr was gefunden? Hans! Er hat ein Falschchen gefunden. Oh. Ist vielleicht nur ein Falschchen von der Besatzung der B-17. Aber sucht mal weiter. Ein bisschen schneller. Komm raus! Just hold on, old boy. The Yank pilot, sir. Sure glad to see you, Major. But did you learn a lesson, Colonel? A lesson? You see a man you can't identify, stay still and let him come to you. We didn't see anyone, Major. We heard a shot. And came toward the sound. Yes. You see, five of my crewmen bailed out. One of them could have been in trouble. There's a village about uh, four kilometers north of here. You and the sergeant go there, give yourselves up. Give up? I don't advise your staying here with Kane. Jerry's rough on commanders. Now, wait a minute. Tomorrow morning, an airplane is landing here to pick you up. If he can make the landing and if we survive. Okay. I prefer that gamble. Joining us? No, sir. Besides, you've already lost one man. One Englishman. One well-trained British commander, not a glamour flyboy. I don't need you, and I don't want you. Well, I need you, Major. Colonel, my kind of war is pitiless. Most of my problems are solved one way. I kill. But if you're willing to place yourself at my command, you may stay with us until you prove yourself to be a problem. Okay. But you won't like it. I'll judge that, Major. Begins. The map, please. The compass. Yes. That way, Sergeant Major. 
If we make up ten minutes, we should be at the farmhouse rendezvous in time for breakfast tea. Hey, you still leave him there? That's right. Oh. What'd you give him? Morphine. No, I, I mean the little box. Oh, that's uh, interrogation feels, in case Jerry gets him. You mean he's supposed to... Well, that's his decision, isn't it? You two carry equipment. It'll free a man for fighting. By Higgins. Barking dog, must be Sergeant Major. Hey, Major! Come and have a look at the kitchen. Sergeant Major Higgins, barn is yours. These people left in a hurry. Now, heat some water for tea, will you, Hanks? Yes, sir. Water for tea. OK, settle down. Bit of a situation, Colonel. I'm afraid the nasty twigged our agent and scooped him up. Is this the man that knows the fire control setup? One we're counting on, yes, one Herzl. Junker stock, cold nobility, no use for Hitler and all that. I don't suppose we have a prayer now of finding the center. Well, now, since they know about him, do you suppose they know about us? It's hard to say. They'll torture him, of course. Didn't he have interrogation pills, sir? I dare say. Sir? Shall I take out water to the barn? Oh, yes, please do. Right, sir. Well, Colonel, we can improvise something, I suppose, but I'm afraid the game is up. What does that mean? Do we pull out? Not really. The recovery aircraft was scheduled to land at sunrise under cover of the bombing raid. 
If we can't knock out the control center, and I don't see now how we can, there'll be no raid. Now we'll simply move about on foot and do in as many jerrys as we can before they do us in. Right outside, shall we? Send a signal home. Ah, oh, as my mother used to say during a blitz, it's not the bombing that causes the hardship, it's the shortage of tea. Good hot, strong injured tea, lads. Nothing like it for settling a nerve, that's what my mother used to say. How long are you going to eat that water over that ruddy candle, Sarge? Decent sharp, as to steep, hot, mate. Hot! <laughs> <laughs> Who's stirring up the A? Now I've got A in me, char. Oh, I'm awful sorry, Sergeant. I must have kicked up the dust with me foot. All right, all right. Just sit quiet now till I'm done. My mother used to bring me to you, remember? While I was shaving. Every morning. When did your mother bring you tea, Sarge? Why, at the table. Like the feed a man proper, she did. Brush her a bacon. Nice juicy kibber. Come out or I shoot! Blimey! It's a skirt! Do you speak English? Yes, I was educated in England before the war. I speak English very well. Oh, what's your name? Frieda von Herzl. My father is Kurt von Herzl. Oh, where is your father? He was arrested this morning by the Gestapo. I think they've suspected us for a long time. They suspected both of you? My father and I are very close. I love him very much. I have known that he was an agent for the British. Well, what have we here? Major, this is Frieda von Herzl. This is Major Mallory. And it's his daughter. We've heard about you. As you were correct, her father was arrested by the Gestapo. Her father was taken, but she was not. They would have arrested me, too. Mm -hmm, but you left Papa in the lurch. Someone had to be here to meet you. Meet us, then why were you hiding? Your soldiers are so fierce. Oh. Oh. I was afraid, but I'm not your enemy. My father didn't tell me everything. There was no time. What do you know? There's something you came to destroy. The center where the anti-aircraft guns are controlled. You know where the center is? Yes. You can take us there. Yes. Do you know what will happen to you if you cross me? Yes. Thanks, Beavers! Alert the commander to move. Go. Quick review of the timetable. The air raid is scheduled for sunrise, about 0700. Our demolition must be done by 0545. We must be back here by 0630. Now, if we're not back on time... Not I'm back? Does that mean you're leaving us here? With the radio, yes. All right. Now, the recall deadline is 0630. Do you want any leeway? No, 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 no. If we can't gum things up on schedule, you send the recall. No good letting the air fleet fly in if all Jerry's flak is still working. Okay. Uh, Fraulein... You visit here with the nice Americanas. I'll send for you. The Major is giving orders to the Colonel. This is the Major's game. You are fighting the Major's war, are you not? You know, you're not subtle enough to cause trouble. How? Divide and conquer, isn't it, your credo? The Nazi credo, maybe. But not yours. Nobody will trust me. You know, I think the Major had you say exactly what he wanted to hear. Of course, you could lead him into a trap. But he only had one other choice, and that would be to sit here. He's not the type of man to just sit. Colonel, 
If the commandos are taken and I'm with them, they'll put me to death. Or worse, they sent me to a camp. I'm afraid to go with the Matra. Let me stay with you. We'll go now. All right, men. Left hand. Right hand. Quick. March. Point to where the fire control center's dug in. There's a collection point for supplies. They're just beyond the hill. There's one cement building, very heavy cement. It's in that building. Uh -huh. All right. Here you can spread the men out, form a perimeter. We'll eat some biscuits and wait for dark. Please, may I go now? You may not. There's nothing more to do. You'd hide back there with Sergeant Major. As soon as it's dark. No, get a medic. Go easy now, sir. You make another sound and you're dead. Okay. Now, where are the commandos? I tell you nothing. Shoot and the soldiers will come. It's a little late for that, lady. They already came to the farmhouse. Somehow they knew. Come on, Colonel. She may be a spy, but she's only a... Shut up, Sergeant. Now, you listen to me, Fraulein. Tomorrow morning, American airmen are flying over here. I lost my radio when your soldiers raided the farm. Either I stop those airplanes, or I'm going to find a way to blow up that fire control center. Now, I'll probably die trying, 
But I promise you this. You're gonna die with me. The commandos were captured. They were taken to interrogation. Where? In the compound over the hill where the fire center is. How well has the compound got it? Too well, but... But what? I think they will not keep the prisoners there. the other side of the road. I'm sorry, Fraulein. You still believe I'm a Nazi agent? Well, let's put it this way. I don't believe you're Frieda von Herzl. A Nazi patriot, perhaps. Soldier of the Reich? Yeah, something like that. You know something? They always made us believe that Americans are soft. I do think of myself as a soldier. But you surprise me. You treat me as if I am a soldier. That's right, lady. That's right. what they say in the films. You got a cigarette. You've been a good subordinate, Carl. It's a pleasure to pass the command. Don't leave us now, Major. I'm afraid of the dark, remember? Yeah. Thanks. Colonel. Save your breath. Now we're gonna get you out of here. Every time I've seen a man get killed, I've said to myself, thank God that wasn't me. You know the feeling. Yes, we all do. Well, here I am. Face to face with old Nick. 
then I should be terrified. Actually, Now, Colonel. Bardia, Sidi Barani, Debrook. He's been with us. Sergeant Major, we're losing time. Get these bodies into the brush. We can use those German uniforms. And get these vehicles turned around the other way. Well, come on, Sergeant Major. Get the commando formed up. Sir. Bridge, sir. Here's a building where they interrogated us. The long sheds are here, like this, sir. Now, they look like metal siding, but there's a concrete bunker inside this one that's hidden there, just like what the floor line said, sir. I hope it's the right concrete bunker. Oh, I know she's a ruddy liar, sir, but she knew we'd soon be scooped up when she told us. Hey, look, sir. Found six grenades in the ruddy truck. Good lad. All right, hush up now. All right. Now, assuming this is the right building, how do we get in? Here. Okay, we have one hour.
Are you sure you're in communication with the mission commander? Well, I have to get off the line now. Air Marshal Kingsford is calling. Try to get me an answer. Marshal Kingsford. I know, I'm trying to get an answer now. Would you mind hanging on? Hello. It should be over Wiesbaden now. Yes. Yes, I have that. Thank you. Hang on. Marshal Kingsford. The mission is over Wiesbaden now. I haven't heard from your commandos or my best group commander, but somehow, Marshal Kingsford, they succeeded. There is no flak. Fräulein, your friends will find you here. My friends are surely now my enemies, or they think I'm theirs. I'm sorry about that, Fräulein. Not really, are you? You tried your best. We did just a little bit better, that's all. So far, you did better, Colonel. So far. Yeah, so far. That pickup aircraft is not here in five minutes. We've had it. Well, we, uh, we can put up a little fight if it comes to that. Of course, we, uh, we could have made a run for the ship if it wasn't for, uh... If it wasn't for Sergeant Kamansky, is that it? You know, you've got the makings of a good commando, Colonel. But the hard rule, the hard, hard rule is leave the helpless man behind. Well, I've gone just about as far as I can go with your rules, Sergeant Major. You see those bombers up there? They have a crew of nine and ten men. They're a team. Our rules are different. Sir! That's it. That's our pickup. Higgins, take the lead. Speavers. Rear guard, you two carry the flanks. All right, you're up in L.A., Scarborough. 